Hello, my name is John Dexter and welcome to my channel. Please hit that subscribe button so you can see what videos are coming up in the future. In this video I'll be running through how I ended up capturing this final image, um, the technique I used, the camera settings and also what I did in post-processing. Let's explain that this is ICM photography, intentional camera movement, which is exactly what it says. It is moving the camera around in a certain way or direction, um, depending on the image that you're taking. The one thing that you do have to have control over is your shutter speed, because if it's not slow enough, then it doesn't give you time to jiggle the camera around. So I always take these in aperture priority. Um, on a cloudy day you can probably get away with um, just reducing your aperture setting to give you that slower shutter speed. But on a bright day or sunny day you really do need a neutral density filter. I usually use a plus 6 or maybe a plus 8 on a really sunny day. This gives you total control over your shutter speed via your aperture setting. Let's just run through a few of the camera settings I had to take this particular image. Um, it was taken on my Nikon D700 uh, with a 35 to 70 2.8 lens set to 52mm focal length. Um, I always manually focus to take these images. Uh, it's not focusing is not critical, um, but I usually get it somewhere near. Uh, the aperture setting was f11 and I'm pretty sure I had a plus 6 neutral density filter to take this image which gave me a shutter speed of a second which is ideal. Um, I dialed in on the exposure compensation minus 7 which gave me a good reading on the histogram. Um, and also the ISO is as low as it'll go the, in this particular case it's 200. This was taken in Christchurch Harbour in Dorset and I'm just sort of looking around to try and find the right composition um, which is probably roughly about there. So once you've found it you get your camera out and start jiggling it around. Now depending on the composition you're taking depends on the movement you do on the camera. Um, in this case you don't want to go sort of left to right too fast because you'll just end up with a, a streaky blur and you don't want to go up and down too much because you will end up basically just repeating the images of the boats and they'll look like they're piled on top of each other. So it's a little jiggle and a little movement to one side. Um, but what you've got to remember is this is all trial and error, it's all practice. Try different things, um, try different shutter speeds to give you that time to take the image, try different movements. Um, something like this, I would have probably taken three, four hundred images and 99% of those are going to be absolute rubbish. But until you get back to the computer and have a look, you really don't know and eventually just one of them will jump out at you and you will end up with this um, amazing image which makes it all worthwhile. I'll just give you a few examples of the rubbish that you can get. Um, this one, too much sky, which is actually a common problem uh, with ICM. It, it, you either get too much sky or too much foreground. The other thing with this is that um, there was too much up and down movement. You can see the masts are, are sort of um, multiplied and uh, are too long. Uh, this one, too much movement left to right or right to left. It really makes no difference, um, but probably moving it a bit too fast as well, which uh, gives you this um, streaky look. Uh, this one, actually, there, there isn't enough movement. It's probably... The movement from left to right is okay, but there isn't enough sort of jiggling around of the camera. And what you end up with is, is perhaps a little bit too much detail, which I know sounds silly, but um, again, it, it, it's not the look that we're after. 
But this this gives you an idea of the um, the rubbish that you can get. Um, but you've just got to keep trying um, different movements with the camera and uh, different shutter speeds until you get that image that that you really want. So there we have it. We come home and look at our images on the computer and pick out one that we think we like. But please don't get despondent if you're out all day and you come back and it's all rubbish. It, this happens more often than not with me. But you've, you've just got to keep going and keep trying different things and, until you get the hang of it. This image, I didn't actually do a great deal to it. Um, I did... Um, take up the shadows a bit, 10%, um, and uh, I saturated it to about 79%, which turned it into that. So it, it brought the colours out a bit and, and sort of m made it a pop a little bit more. The uh, second thing I did, I put a, a graduated filter um, into the sky um, and put a bit of an S curve into the histogram um, which sort of brightened the sky up a little bit but brought the blues out got rid of that grey colour. The uh, the third thing I did I put a, a graduated filter into the uh, bottom of the image um, because I thought this was all a bit greyish not very nice uh, so I put an S curve into the histogram again um, which sort of gave me that and I thought the reflections were bought out and it just made it more pleasant image to look at. And the last things I did was um, just auto retouch brush, that was just to get rid of the uh, um, dust bunnies. Um, and then I put a very small crop into it. Um, so I ended up with a final image that I, I was very, very happy with. Well, there you have it. I must say that um, I was honoured to uh, get a, a gold award for this image with the National Photographic Society, um, which made um, all the hard work worthwhile, um, as I'm sure you could as well. Um, I hope this has been helpful. I hope it's inspired you to get out there and jiggle the camera around a bit. Um, if it has, it's all been worthwhile. So many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to see more videos in the future. This is John Dexter. Bye for now.